space, the realm of infinite possibility. It has long inspired the dreams of billions. These dreams, countless in number, spread infinitely throughout the universe, though some of these dreams are nightmares. A race of sentient beings from planet Lazonia, discovered in Sector Gamma, declared war on the Terran Alliance, igniting the flames of ferocious warfare across the galaxy. SD-342. The battleship Kalnus received a commendation for excellence in command for its victory in the battle against Lazonia. SD-346. The captain of the Kalnus and his second in command successfully contained a mysterious virus outbreak on the underdeveloped frontier planet Roke. They also were able to prevent the tyrannical G.A. Revorce's diabolical plan to conquer Earth. Thanks to his achievements, my father was promoted to admiral at the unprecedented young age of 38. I respected him more than anybody else in my life. I know that being a Federation officer is among the greatest accomplishments anyone can hope to achieve in this universe. But I am my own man. I'm no puppet. I'm not just the son of Admiral Ronix J. Kinney, hero of the Pan-Galactic Federation. So what am I doing here, of all places? How's it look? Any change from the pre-landing scans? No, sir. None of the wavelengths are showing any response. The field resembles a magnetic energy field somewhat, but its exact nature is still uncertain at the moment. Hmm. So it's possible that it's absorbing all the waves from the sensors. All right. Let's try running a spectral analysis on the magnetic waves the field is emitting. Claude, you're a ranking officer now. Use this to protect everyone if something happens. What's wrong? Nervous? No, not exactly, sir. <laughs> Don't tell me you're already quaking in your boots, Claude. It's not the kind of behavior I expect from an ensign. I... You can use this phase gun in battle by pressing the special arts button. Don't be afraid to pull the trigger, it might just save your life. No good, Admiral. There's no match with anything in our databases. Is that right? All right, let's get a closer look at it then. What can this possibly be? Just why would anyone build something like this here? We'll need to find a way into the dome first. You're right. All crew, spread out and investigate the area. Stay alert, people. Safety is of the utmost priority. What is it, Claude? 
Did you find something? I think this is some type of control device. Maybe it'll open up an entrance into the dome. Good job, Claude. Just as I expected. How does it look? Think you can figure it out? Just give me a little more time and I should be able to... Got it. It's opened. How's it look in there? I don't see any sensors or security measures at the entrance. Beyond that, I can't say anything until we actually go inside. All right, let's proceed inward and begin with the investigation. Look alive, everyone. We don't know what we'll find inside. Don't be careless, Claude. Wait till we figure out what that thing is before you go near it. Don't worry. It's nothing special. I'll be fine. Stop! Don't go any closer. We still don't know what that device is capable of. Get back here! Stay away from that thing, Claude! Claude! How are we supposed to accomplish anything if you're going to be that scared? There's no danger at all. Coordinates 214 368 97 781. Uh. Opening gate. What? What? No! Uh. Ah! He, he's gone. Claude! Admiral, please don't! No, it's... it's all my fault. Oh, that's right. I was on Milokinia. And then that light swallowed me up. I still have my communicator. It's no good. I can't get a signal. So where am I? Where did I get sent to? I can't just sit around here and do nothing. I need to figure out where I am right away. From the looks of it, this place might be some underdeveloped planet. That's... there's someone there! Whoa! 
behind you! Huh? I gotta help her. Look out! Here they come! Not too shabby. Whoa! Whew. Good thing I made it in time. Ah, I shouldn't have used my phase gun. Great. How could I have been so careless? That probably violated the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. But I had to do it. If I didn't pull the trigger, I couldn't have saved that girl. I... um... You all right? Oh, that was a close one. By the way, if you don't mind me asking... Hey, wait! She ran away from me. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd wait for me. I'm sorry I ran away like that. Oh, no. Th that's okay. It's just that everything happened so quickly. I was really shocked. <laughs> Scary, huh? Y yes a little Still, I'm really sorry about all this. You saved me, but I just ran off like that. Nah, don't worry about it. Besides, you did stop to wait, didn't you? Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Reyna. Reyna Lanford. Oh, and, uh, I'm Claude. Claude C. Kinney. Uh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Kenny. So, Mr. Kenny, was there something you wanted to ask me earlier? Oh, right. It's nothing that important, really, but... Uh, where am I? Are you a traveler? Uh, something like that, yeah. Where are you from? From... from Earth? Earth? Where is that? I figure she wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Well, uh, how can I put it? It's... it's really far away from here. Really. Really far away. Probably. A faraway place? I have never even been off this continent. That's really amazing. Is Earth farther away than L? I suppose, yeah. It must have been quite a long and difficult journey. Mr. Kenny, once we cross this bridge, we'll be in Arlia. Arlia? Is that where you live? But, uh, are you sure it's alright if I just barge in?
Of course it is. Besides, I need to repay you somehow. No, please, don't worry about it. I didn't do anything that special. <laughs> you don't have to be so modest. It won't be much, just the least I can offer you, so please. Welcome to Arlia. I haven't breathed air this clean in a long time. What do you mean by clean air? Is there such a thing as dirty air? Yeah, it's sure dirty where I come from anyway. Really? I don't think I would like that. I don't think so either. This feels a thousand times better. Well, there's plenty of clean air here, so breathe as much as you please. <laughs> I need to run back home for a little bit, Mr. Kenny. Would you mind maybe taking a walk around the village for a little while? Sure, no problem. I'll be right back. It's probably not a good idea to get too involved with the locals. I better try to find a way back. Maybe the villagers will have something helpful to tell me. So where is he right now? Well, I told him to look around town for a bit. Wait a minute, Reyna. Hmm? 
Um, excuse me. Ah, is something wrong, Mr. Kenny? No, um, I was just walking around the village and I wound up here. Oh, I see. I didn't expect you to be here. Is this a bad time? Oh, no, not at all. Mom, this is Mr. Kenny. He's the one who saved me earlier. Oh, oh my. So he's the one you told me about? Well, hello there, Mr. Kenny. I'm Raina's mother. Just call me Westa. Raina said that you saved her from a dangerous situation earlier. Oh, I, uh, it wasn't anything special at all. But of course it is. It would have been a disaster if you hadn't shown up when you did. I told this girl time and again to stay away from the sacred forest, but she never listens to me. Oh, Mom. Reyna, you should just be glad that you're okay. Anyways, Mr. Kenny, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I'm done here, so how about I show you around the village? Ah, yes, please. Thank you. All right. See you later, Mom. <sighs> okay, I got it. Have fun, you two. It was nice meeting you, ma'am. I'm sorry about my mother. She can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. My parents are kind of the same way. Oh, really? Yeah, like you wouldn't believe. You'd be amazed. <laughs> well, shall we get going?
Hello. Raina, I wasn't expecting you two to be back so early. Just in time, though. I was just finishing up everything. Finishing up? What? Mom, what's all this food here for? Doesn't it look delicious? I put all of my best recipes out on the table for you. That's not what I mean. What? Did I do something wrong? I just thought I'd thank Mr. Kenny with a nice meal. I understand that, but isn't this a little much? Is it? He's pretty young, so I figured he'd have a big appetite. You are hungry, aren't you, Mr. Kenny? Actually, I am, yeah. See, a real man could put all this away, no problem. So eat as much as you like, all right? Uh, thanks. Oh, Mom. Oh, thank you so much for the meal, but I just can't eat anymore. Are you okay? You didn't have to force it all down, you know. I'm fine. I'm fine. I've got a cast iron stomach. I'm sorry my mother made so much. It was all delicious, though. My mother would never be able to do something like that. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I'm glad you're happy. I'm going to go downstairs and help my mother clean up. Feel free to rest up here for a bit, all right? Sure, that sounds good. Man, I'm full. Mom, I wonder how she's doing. I hope she isn't too worried about me. I've got to find a way to get home. Raina's taking a while. Ah, hello, ma'am. How was the meal, Mr. Kenny? I didn't make too much, did I? Oh, not at all. All of it was wonderful. Thanks for making it. Really? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. You're welcome. So you really liked it? I really did. Are you 100% sure? I'm 100% sure about it. Well, thank goodness. I wouldn't know what to do if it wasn't good enough for the hero. Um, did you just say hero? Raina, oh, no, 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 no. What's wrong, Mom? Why are you panicking like that? I, uh, no, it, it's just that I've... Calm down, Mom. Tell me what's wrong. I said it. Said what? I said the H word. What? You told him that? So what did he say? I don't think he understood what I meant. Look, what's going on here? Please be calm, everyone. It's all right. He doesn't understand what this is all about either. Oh, Mr. Kenny. This must be Claude C. Kenny then, yes? Allow me to say, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Regis, and I humbly serve this village as its mayor. Good to meet you, sir. Allow me to thank you profusely for saving our dear Reyna's life in the sacred forest. 
No, not at all, sir. Speaking of which, Reyna has told me that you are, at present, in the midst of a journey. Oh, well, it's hardly worth calling a journey, really. So tell me, where is your destination? The Kingdom of Cross, or perhaps the continent of Lacour? Well, I, uh... A curious traveler indeed. Not only do you not know where you are, but where you are going is also yet unknown. What are you trying to say, sir? Mr. Kenny, if you will forgive my rudeness for a moment, I do believe everything you have told us has been a lie. You are far from an ordinary traveler. If I'm not a traveler, then what am I? A visitor from another world, a hero of legend, hidden under the guise of a traveler. In fact, even you will agree that you are the hero of light who has come to fulfill his duty as our savior. Am I wrong? What? I, uh, listen, what would possibly make you think that I, uh... If it's proof you need, then let me share with you a glimpse of our world. It has been told in our history that when the people of Expel are suffering under the threat of impending doom, a hero will appear in garbs of foreign make, and with his sword of light, he will save us all. Your clothes are nothing like what we have, and you carry the sword of light. What more proof do we need? What are you... I don't have any sword of light. Of course you do. You used a blinding light to save me earlier. That? Maybe he really isn't the one. He's got to be. Hmm. I think I know why you're all confused. This weapon of mine, it's not a sword of light, although I'll admit that it's something like one. But still, carrying this around doesn't make me any kind of special hero. There's got to be some kind of mistake. How can you say that? Well, I mean, I'm not a hero. I don't have any kind of power like that. I don't even have any idea what's going on here. How can you expect me to save anyone at all? You truly have no idea? You really don't know anything about the sorcery globe or the cataclysms? We're not talking about something that happens in the village here. We're talking about the cataclysms that have affected the entire world. It seems that you do not really know what we are talking about. Please allow me to explain. It all began three months ago. On another continent northwest of this village, there is a kingdom by the name of El. One fateful day, a meteor crashed upon Aluria, a town located within El's territory. At first, people saw it as merely a rare and remarkable celestial event. But before long, a cataclysm took place. Great hordes of monsters suddenly appeared in the once peaceful nation, and the havoc they spread devastated the Kingdom of El. There has never been anything like this before in our world. Not until the arrival of that meteor. It only stands to reason that the two events are related to each other. The meteor came to be called the Sorcery Globe. A stone of pure demonic evil. No matter how you look at it, that stone must be the reason for the disasters that have befallen the world. And now, just as the sorcery globe fell upon our heads one day, so you have also appeared out of thin air. If that stone is the source of the chaos, then we believe that only you can cut through the chaos and save us. But I'm just a... 
The cataclysms are still ongoing as we speak. Strings of earthquakes like nothing recorded before. Docile animals turning into fearsome monsters. It will not be long before disaster befalls this humble village, too. But I... I'm not anyone special like your story said. How am I supposed to deal with some kind of magic meteorite? If you are not, then where did you come from? And where are you going? That's... I don't know how to explain it, and even if I did, you wouldn't understand it. The only thing I can tell you is that I'm here because of an accident, and not because I wanted to be here. I just want to go back to where I came from. That's all. You must have your reasons, but you must let us know more before we can make sense of this. I know, but that's all I can tell you. Very well. If you insist on it, then I am sure there is at least some truth to it. We will have to accept that you are not the Hero of Light after all. How can this be? I'm sorry. This is probably not what you all wanted to hear. Not at all. It is our own fault forcing you to be someone you are not in the first place. I'm sorry about this. You should probably leave her be for now. She believed with all her heart that you were the hero we needed. I'm sure she will be over it soon enough. Reyna. There is one thing I would like to ask of you, Mr. Kenny. Please, if you can, try to avoid acting in a way that would confuse others. I am, of course, referring to the Sword of Light. But if you could, I ask you to be prudent with your behavior in general as well. As I explained to you, things have been unsettled ever since the Sorcery Globe landed. People are anxious and uncomfortable. To have someone who matches the description of our legends suddenly appear in these circumstances, well, hopefully you can understand why people like Reyna were holding out so much hope for you. So I do ask you to be mindful not to instill that hope into people. Please, that would be easier for everyone. Yes, Mayor. I'll try my best. Well then, on that note, Mr. Kenny, what's your next order of business? I wish I knew. I thought maybe I would try to find something that'll get me back home, but... In that case... Why don't you stay here in our village for a while? You can stay in my house for as long as you like. Perhaps you'll be able to find out something useful while you're here. Oh, I, I couldn't impose like that. Not at all. If anyone was imposing around here, it was certainly us. I insist. Well, in that case, I will accept your offer then. you sleep well? Yes, very. The mayor will see you downstairs. Good morning, mayor. Ah, you're finally up. Yes, I needed a good night's sleep. Superb, superb. By the way, Mr. Kenny, if you can't find what you're looking for here in Arlia, you might want to try visiting the town of Salva to the north. Salva's a mining town where you can find people from all across the continent. Perhaps it will prove to be worthwhile to have a look over there. All right, thanks for the tip. Don't worry about it. Oh, and one more thing. Your Sword of Light will probably attract too much attention. So please, make use of this sword instead. Finally, if you're ever tired, you can use the upstairs bed anytime you like, day or night.
great. Thank you very much. I wish you the best of luck. You better stay close to the road, okay? The forest is really dangerous. I'll remember that. Thanks. Say that's worth 10 out of 10.
Well, shoot. This planet's even more backwards than I expected. I can't find any leads anywhere. Nothing's popping up on my communicator either. Oh well. Guess I'll go back to Arlia and figure out what to do next. What's everyone out here for? Ah, Mr. Kenny, Raina's in trouble. Raina, what happened to her? Mr. Kenny, do you know about the son of the mayor from the next town over? Yes, a little. Then I'll cut right to the chase. Alan has taken Raina away by force. Taken her away? Where? I'm afraid to say this, but I believe he took her back to his mansion. He's one of Reyna's most overzealous suitors. I never thought he'd be the sort of man who would take things this far, however. Well, what are you standing here for? We've got to help her. I'm afraid things aren't that simple. Alan's the son of the mayor. He's one of the most powerful people in his hometown. We could face retaliation in one form or another. Not that I accuse the mayor of being such a base individual, of course. I'm merely saying that the possibility of such a thing is much greater than zero. Alan also has a gang of thugs to serve as his personal guard. I imagine he threw his money at all the local ruffians he could find. His gang all look tremendously tough. If we tried to confront them head on, we would have no chance against them. But still! Something like this has never happened before. I'm at a loss as to what we could possibly do. Oh, Reyna. My Reyna. Then I'll go save her. Since I'm not from this village, my actions shouldn't have any effect on the rest of you. I'm just a random nobody who decided that Reyna could use some of my help. But Mr. Kenny, it would be too dangerous to try and take them on by yourself. I can and I will. I have my Sword of Light, remember? Just wait for me, all right? Don't worry. Mr. Kenny! Please save her. I need Reyna back. I know. I promise I'll get her back to you. Here they come! Air Slash! <laughs> 
say that's worth 10 out of 10. Damn it, it's locked. Guess I'm blasting my way through. Sweet. Huh? Crap, my phase gun's almost out of energy. I'll need to lay off it for a while, but there's no turning back now. Whoa, what was that? The Sword of Light. What's that? This is Raina's hairpin. What's it doing in here? If Raina's hairpin was dropped in here, that could only mean one thing. I knew it! Are you okay? Who did this to you? Uh, who are you? Hurry! He kidnapped Reyna! I'm Reyna's friend. Is she down this way? Reyna's been taken away. Deep inside the Salva Mines. Alan paid me to build this bizarre altar for him. I think he's set on taking her there. I tried to stop him, but he overpowered me. So he's inside there? Right. Be careful. Something's not right with Alan. All right. Wait here, okay? I'll come back for you once I find Reyna. Sorry that I can't help. I'd say that was 8 out of 10. Whoa!
I'd say that was 8 out of 10. Whoa! One for us. Be careful. Ha! Da! Ya! Da! Air slap! Ha! Ha! Well, I'd say that's worth ten out of ten. Close enough. So you're out. Let Reyna go. Do you have any idea what you're doing? If you'll excuse me, sir, we are in the middle of a holy ceremony. In just a moment, we will be together as one. I would appreciate it if you would show some respect. Now then, my Reyna. No! Mr. Kenny, help me! Stop it! This isn't anything holy! You can't force someone into marriage like this. Force? I think you're a tad mistaken here. We are in love with each other. Love with each other. Love. Alan? Love with... Oh, no! Mr. Kenny! This guy, Reyna? I don't know. Ever since he came to Arlia, it's like he was possessed by something. But people don't just turn into this kind of monster. What's going on here? Alan, you were such a good person, too. Reyna. Why did this have to happen? Ah. Uh... He's still breathing. Where am I? Huh? Reyna, why are you here? Alan, you're back! What do you mean? Oh, my head's spinning. I feel like I've been stuck in a dream for days. I guess that stone was what caused all this trouble. Once it's gone, that was enough to turn him back to normal. I'm so happy for you. Let's go back to the mansion. We can figure everything out over there. I did all of that? Yes, you did, I'm afraid. It was a terrible experience. 
Wow, I can't remember a thing. You're telling me I had Bosman build that altar for me? Yep, it was about two weeks ago that you sent me the order. Now that I think about it, that was around the time I started to notice you acting strangely. Like you were in your own little world or something. It must have been that stone. Whatever power that stone's emitting was enough to mentally transform you. I think you're right about that. The first time I saw that stone, it was like something swelled up inside my head. I felt like I could literally do no wrong. That I was right, and everyone else was to do my bidding. I don't remember much after that, but I don't think I'll ever be able to forget what it felt like at that single moment. Alan. Reyna, I'm sorry. I know I was unconscious during that time, but I feel terrible for doing those things to you. Don't feel bad, Alan. Besides, you're back to normal, and I know the real Alan would never do anything like that. Thank you. We better hurry back to Arlia. Your mom's worried about you, Reyna. Yeah. I need to go explain what happened to everyone in Salva. Hopefully they'll be understanding. Reyna! Well, looks like we owe you our thanks once again. You saved Reyna's life not once, but twice now. Oh, no. I hardly did anything worth thanking me for. So is that what started this whole little episode? That little stone he found in the Salva Mines? That's the only explanation I can think of. When the stone shattered, Alan snapped back to normal. Hmm. First you go mad, then you transform into a monster. That stone almost reminds me of the sorcery globe. Yes, it does seem to be that way. Perhaps the two are related somehow. The Sorcery Globe. That's just something that popped into my mind anyway. It sounds like the town of Salva is in an uproar right now. As if Alan didn't cause enough chaos, rumors about the hero have made it over there as well. I'm sorry. I know you had warned me about that. Ah. Uh, do not take that as a criticism. It was unavoidable with your mind focused upon saving Reyna's life. Still, the story has spread too far now. Hiding it any longer will prove to be very impractical. I see. Would you mind investigating the Sorcery Globe for us, Mr. Kenny? I know this is an awfully selfish request. But frankly, I cannot think of anyone more fitting for the task. I as well believe Alan's fit of madness has something to do with the Sorcery Globe. If you could save him, then perhaps you could do yet more for us. Mr. Kenny? The Sorcery Globe. As of now, the Sorcery Globe seems to be the only thing on this planet that has any connection to outer space. I don't have anything else that's even close to a lead right now. Knowing what I know now, it's hard to think of the Sorcery Globe as just a normal meteorite. Finding more about it could prove to be more valuable than I thought. All right, I'll do it. You will? Ah, but, but first, let me just remind you that I'm not the hero. Saving the world is just way beyond me, I'm afraid. But I think the Sorcery Globe might provide some useful information for my own personal reasons. If I can help everyone else in the process, then I figure it'd be worthwhile, you know? Thank you very much, Mr. Kenny. We will help you out as best we can. Thank you, but I'm not making any promises. Could you take me with you, Mr. Kenny? Reyna! You heard what the mayor just said. I want to help out as best I can. But Reyna, it's going to be dangerous. I fully understand that. 
but I just know I will be of some help to you along the way. You don't know very much about this land, do you, Mr. Kenny? So you're going to need some kind of guide in your travels. I could at least provide you with that. I suppose so, yes, but... Come on, Mayor. Help me out here. That's right, Mr. Kenny. Why don't you take her along if that's what she wants? Mayor... I'm sure she'll be a tremendous asset on the road. Please, think it over, son. Okay, I got it. But get your mom's permission first, Reyna. I'm not gonna let you come with me unless she gives the green light. Yeah, I know. In that case, you should probably head for Cross first. That's a pretty large town, so I'm sure you'll find some leads there. Take care on your way home, Reyna. It's starting to get chilly, so don't catch cold now. Oh, I'll be all right. My house is right over there, you know. I'm not being a burden on you, am I? I know I kind of forced you into this. No, of course not. Um, listen, I... Yes? Raina, are you still here? I thought you'd be back home by now. Have a good night. What's the matter with her? Oh, well, <laughs> I can't have myself catch a cold out here. Back inside for me. And for you, too. Yes, sir. Would you join me for a little chat before bed? Sure. You know, when that girl volunteered to go with you, there was a part of me that knew she'd do exactly what she did. Why is that? Raina helped heal Alan's injuries, didn't she? Yeah. That healing power she has, nobody else in the village has it. How do you mean? Allow me to be frank. Reyna is not Wester's real daughter. Wester found her inside the sacred forest. Reyna was only two years old then. was genuinely surprised when Wester showed up with a toddler in tow. When Wester told everyone she'd raise the child as her own, nobody raised so much as a single objection. I suppose they felt sympathy for the couple, as they had never been blessed with a child of their own. Does Reyna know about this? No, she hasn't been told. I thought it was still too early. She could already say her own name when we found her, so we know for a fact that Reyna is her real name. Other than that, we have no idea where she came from, nor the reason she possesses the healing power that she has. In other words, everything about her is a total mystery to us. You don't have any clue at all? Her only possession was the pendant around her neck. But that does not give any insight about her past. There isn't anything aside from that. I had no idea. Ah, uh, 
Look how late it is. <laughs> I'm sorry to take up so much of your time. I've already prepared the bed upstairs for you. So please. Please, take good care of Reyna for me. I promise I will. Reyna. That's odd. It sounds like something's hitting the window. Is it coming from the balcony? Reyna? What's wrong? I want to talk to you. Can you come down for a moment? I'll be right there. Thanks. Huh? Where did the mayor go? Reina? Oh, there she is. So, what did you want to talk about at this hour? Well, I told my mother I'm going, and, um, she was pretty surprised. I would think so. Did she say no? She didn't say anything, but then the mayor came by. Oh. Listen, Mr. Kenny, there's a reason why I want to come along with you. A reason? What do you mean? My mom, she's not my real mother. I don't think either of them realize I know, but I overheard them discussing it a long time ago. Father? What am I supposed to do? Please, keep your voice down. We wouldn't want Reyna to hear us. That girl's passed down on her bed, now that she's finally had enough of crying for her dead father. I am sure this is just as much a shock for you as it is for her. But you are her mother. You need to stay calm for her sake. Stay calm? How am I supposed to stay calm? My husband is dead. Wester. Without him? What am I... What am I going to do? I still haven't told her yet. Now that he's gone, I'll have to tell her all by myself. Can you imagine? Having to tell your daughter that she's not your real child? I knew I should have thrown away that damn pendant. Why didn't I get rid of the last connection to her real parents? She would have been mine, my real daughter. So you want to search for your real mother? I don't know. I don't have anything to go on besides this pendant. But the fact that whoever gave birth to me cared enough to give me this pendant, I think she must have loved me, at the very least. What about the mom you have now? West is the one that raised you. I can tell she has a lot of love and affection for you. 
What about her feelings? I... I love her. She's the only mother I have. So why all this, then? I want to know what I really am. Where was I born? Why was I in the sacred forest? Where did this power of mine come from? But more than anything else, I want to know what happened to the woman who gave birth to me. I'm not going with you because I want to leave my village. I'm going because one day, I will come back here again. It's getting late. I'm sorry I brought all this up. No, no, it's... Good night. Take care of Raina for us, Mr. Kenny. Yes, sir. Be careful out on the road. Of course. I'll be fine as long as Mr. Kenny is with me. I suppose so. Raina. Don't worry, Mom. I promise I'll be back soon. Saying goodbye like this makes it all the better when I say hello again, right? Yeah, you're right. Come back soon, okay, Raina? Thanks, Lucian. Remember to be a good boy, all right? Okay. Go on now. Wouldn't want to keep Mr. Kenny any longer than we have to. You'd want to reserve enough time for the trip to cross, no? It's best if you set off as soon as you can. So the first thing to do is visit the King of Cross at the castle, right? That's correct. He will certainly welcome you once you show him my letter of introduction. You'll be able to gather the latest information on what's going on from him. Oh, definitely. I know the king pretty well myself. Let's go then, Reyna. See you later, Mom. Take care, Reyna. Best of luck to you, Mr. Kenny. Thank you, sir. What's wrong, Reyna? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about my father. I have to hand it to you, Reyna. Losing your father must have been terrible, but you've been dealing with it so calmly. Oh, not at all. I cried all the time back when it happened. What's your father like, Mr. Kenny? My father? He's a great man, respected by everyone who knows him. Wow. I'm jealous. He sounds wonderful. You must be really proud of him, Mr. Kenny. Yeah, he's brilliant. Maybe too brilliant. Admiral, we've entered orbit around planet Milokinia. All right. Give me a surface scan. This is an M-sized planet. Breathable E-type atmosphere. Looks like it's got a lot of ore deposits, especially chromium. I'm detecting life forms, but no evidence of sentient life. The usual then. I'll add the data to our star map.
Wait a minute, Admiral. There's a point on the surface that's turning up dark in the scan. What do you mean? There's an energy field present. But what? Do we know anything about this field? Checking our database. No matches found. All right, we'll have to land on Milokinia and check it out ourselves. Get us down as quickly as possible. Ensign Kenny, I'm appointing you to the landing party. If I may, Admiral, my duty is to assist you at your command post, not to explore unknown planets. I'm going down to Milokinia too, Ensign. You're coming with me. Admiral? What if something happens to you down on the surface? We're here to discover the unknown, to unlock the secrets of the universe. Who could ask for anything more? I'm just, I'm just an old man who's too decrepit for the battlefield. Are you trying to deny me the last bit of fun I can have in my life? But sir, never mind. Understood, Admiral. Kurtzman, you take the bridge. Be careful down there, sir. Right. Let's get moving. So tell me, what logical reason is there for Claude to be in the landing party? Beats me. Probably dear old dad trying to prop up his son's service record. Ah, too bad we all couldn't be the Admiral's son, right? Well, nothing we can really do about it. Even someone like Admiral Ronix J. Kenny can't help but spoil the kid a little. Is something wrong? N no Nothing.
was easier than I thought. Hmm, the trip took a lot longer than I thought. There's nobody around. The castle looks like it's locked up too. Let's stay at the inn for the night. We can visit the castle tomorrow. Why, it's Reyna! You've been quite a stranger lately. Sorry I haven't been around, Aunt Rachel. How are things going? Oh, as well as always, I'd say. Oh, found a new man, did you? Worrying Westa to no end, no doubt. He's not my boyfriend! Well, you didn't have to shout it like that. Huh? Oh, n nothing well, you're in luck. I've got a lovely vacant room just for the two of you. How about I let you stay there for the night? Oh, are you sure that's okay? Oh, nothing but the best for my niece on her special night. I told you already, it's not like that at all. I swear. Not at all, huh? To think of it, Mr. Flack paid a visit to town a couple of weeks earlier. Dias was here? But he left soon afterwards. Not that he had any particular destination in mind. I see. Well, make yourselves comfy. Thank you so much, Aunt Rachel. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Take care of Reina for me, all right? Uh, yes, of course. By the way, I couldn't help but wonder, who's Mr. Flack? You mean Diaz? She mentioned the name earlier, so I was just curious. His full name's Dias Flack. He used to live in Arlia like me. Something terrible happened to him, though, a long time ago, and because of that, he left the village. Well, I'll try to avoid the subject then. Thanks. Do you mind if I make one request, though? What is it? You really don't have to call me Mr. Kinney. It just makes me feel weird when I call you Reyna. Okay, I'll remember that from now on. Well, let's get ready for bed then. It's getting late. It looks like it. Good night, Claude. Good night, Reyna. Well, how did things go? We had a great night's sleep, Aunt Rachel. Thanks for asking. Oh, you know that's not what I meant. Excuse me. Sorry. He... he had three eyes! This is the front desk for the audience chamber. This is the place. I'll write our names in for you. 
Ah, I see you're here on behalf of Mayor Regis of Arlia. Yes, sir. I'd like to have an audience as soon as possible, if I may. Very well. If you could kindly wait until I make the arrangements. Thank you very much. You're welcome to look around the castle until the time comes. That would be great. Thank you. We're in, Claude. Thank you, Your Majesty. Just remember to be careful. Pardon me. It is an honor, Your Majesty. Ah, it's you, Reyna. It has been a long time, hasn't it? I can hardly recognize you. You've grown to be even more beautiful than what I've heard from Regis. I'm glad to see you in good spirit, sire. Oh, there's no need for formalities, Reyna. What can I do for you today? Yes, sire. We have begun to conduct an investigation into the Sorcery Globe. As part of that, we were wondering if Your Majesty could give us whatever information on the globe and its properties that you currently possess. Heavens! You're the one conducting this investigation? Yes, sire. And we are treating the job with as much resolve and determination as it deserves. Well, if that be the case, then it wouldn't do to hold anything back from you. I am afraid we know very little about the machinations of the Sorcery Globe ourselves. Or rather, it would be more accurate to say we know nothing at all. Haven't you sent a team to investigate it? I have, but unfortunately, any hope for their return seems to have perished at this point. I don't need to remind you of all the earthquakes and volcanic eruptions that have occurred worldwide. However, the exact cause of this activity remains a total mystery even to us. Have you given any thought to the idea that the Sorcery Globe is behind all this? Well, without some kind of evidence to back up that theory, it is difficult to be 100% sure about anything. I hear that people and monsters are fighting a pitched struggle in El Kingdom territory at present. Unfortunately, Few details have been given on the scope of the battle or the number of casualties incurred as a result. Are there any ships right now that can take us to El? There are, but they have been strictly regulated. Wild rumors have a way of spreading quickly during wartime, needless to say. To sum up the current situation, despite all our best efforts, we have failed to obtain even a trace of information about the Sorcery Globe. I see. That's why we've decided to enlist the help of any willing adventurers in the area. That explains all of the adventurers we saw in town. I hardly need to remind you, Reyna, that your investigation into the Sorcery Globe is an extremely dangerous endeavor. If it were up to me, I would sincerely suggest that you call off this investigation immediately. Don't worry, I'll be all right. Mr. Kenny on my side here. Oh, so you have that much faith in his strength. In any case, it looks like you could do with some better equipment. Hmm.
Here, His Majesty has granted you a travel permit, along with a small parting gift. But Your Majesty... Please, take it. It's a perfectly fitting payment for helping us root out the cause of this cataclysm. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. If you're traveling to the El Kingdom, the interim transport ship departing from Kurik would be best. We appreciate your generous support, Your Majesty. <laughs> I hardly even opened my mouth. It's not just you. Even I felt like I had butterflies in my stomach. What is the meaning of this? I believe I procured this fair and square. What the hell are you talking about, lady? You practically stole it from me! Stole? <laughs> exactly when did I partake in something anywhere even close to stealing? Enough of your crap! Hand it over or you're dead! Wait a minute. I can't just let this go on. Claude? Hmm? Who the hell's this little brat? Hey you! That's no way to speak to a lady, you know. What was that? Let's be a little more civilized here, alright? Are you talking to me, kid? If I recall correctly, you were gonna fight me, not this little boy. What? I'll kill you, you little... If you want to pick a fight, you'd best choose your opponents more carefully. Not that I'm particularly enthralled with getting in a fight over something I didn't do. You're gonna pay for this! Hopefully that taught him something. I must thank you, my boy. You were quite the courageous one. Boy? Your bravery has struck a chord inside of me. Truly brilliant. Uh, <laughs> it was nothing. You're blushing, Claude. By the way, are you the couple who had an audience with the king earlier? How'd you know that? I just happened to be on a tour of the castle at the time and I overheard some guards gossiping about two people who got special permission to jump ahead in the King's schedule. And you realized that was us? I wondered what made that pair so special. So I sneaked into the throne room to find out for myself. That's... impressive. I have some information that I believe you will appreciate. Without going into too many details, I just happened to get my hands on this map from an auction that I attended not long ago. Supposedly, this map shows the way to an ancient treasure hidden inside a certain cave. Would you be interested in joining me as I explore the cave? We really don't have time to go treasure hunting right now. 
Oh? Are you sure? You might uncover a hint or two related to your own goal. Well, would you like to come along? An ancient treasure. Maybe it'll provide me with some leads. Sounds like fun. I'll take the offer. Ah, I knew you'd come around. My name is Celine Jules. I'm a treasure hunting enthusiast. Now then, let me show you the map one more time. See this? First, we'll set off for the Cross Cave, which lies east of Cross. Cross Cave? You mean that natural cave? Everyone knows that place. Indeed, it's the very one. I would have thought that anything worth excavating in there was long gone by now. Well, supposedly, this map just recently came to light for the first time. Wow! Right. Let's make sure we have all the equipment we need before we depart. I could get used to having you two around. I'm not feeling very good about this. Hmm? Did you say something? Me? No. Let's go.
is it? I'm glad I did. everyone's safe. Eight out of ten. 